Hi guys, so today I'm going to be giving advice on how to start reading the Bible for beginners. Now, when I say beginners, I really mean entry-level stuff. I'm talking about people who read the Bible basically not at all or very, very little. Maybe you're a new Christian and that's the case. Or maybe you're not a Christian and you want to explore Christianity. Um, if you fall into those categories, this video would be for you. However, if you already do read the Bible consistently, we all go through bad patches where we really struggle, mainly because of sin and because we start finding the Bible boring, which we shouldn't. But sometimes that happens, and I think these tips would help us to you know, just focus on the bread and butter of Bible reading. So my main advice for this video is to just focus on the New Testament exclusively, at least at the start. Don't focus on the Old Testament in the beginning. That's not because I'm saying the Old Testament is not important. It's just that the New, New Testament is so easy to understand. It's clear and concise. I think there's a misconception that reading the Bible is in, incredibly difficult and that it's incredibly difficult to understand. And I think that's because people often start in the Old Testament where it has a lot of long, difficult to understand parts. People maybe start in sort of Genesis, get on to Exodus, start struggling, but get to Leviticus. And when you get to Leviticus, you just throw in the towel because there's, there's so many long, confusing, you know, parts where you're like wondering, why is this here, etc. And then people maybe don't really ever truly get onto the New Testament or focus on it. So, yeah, I'd like to just unwrap that a bit. Um, yeah, the New Testament is really, I would say, easier to understand than many if not most contemporary books. Most books in the New Testament are clear as it comes with the exception of Revelation. Revelation has a bit of prophecy about end times which can be challenging to understand but the other 26 books of the New Testament are incredibly simple. The New Testament makes up less than 25 percent of the Bible. So you can see that it's way shorter than the Old Testament and it's obviously way quicker to just get through the New Testament as opposed to the entire Bible. And despite the fact that it's so short, it contains the most important content in terms of Christianity to read. If you want to know who Christ was and is, what Christianity is, how people are saved, all those incredibly important questions, how we should live today, you'll find all that in the New Testament. And you can read it for yourself firsthand. You don't have to listen to someone else talking about it, you can read it for yourself and really see what Christ and his apostles had to say. Now, I thought it would be useful to just give some facts about the New Testament. Now, the average person reads at a rate of about 250 words per minute, and the New Testament contains roughly 180,000 words. So if you were to do the maths, that means that if you were to read the New Testament for 12 minutes a day, you would get through the entire New Testament in two months. Now, some of you are probably thinking, yeah, but I'm a slow reader, right? So even if you were to read half as fast as the average person, so 125 words a minute, that would give you time to really just contemplate and try and understand what you're reading. If you were to do that and you were to only read for 10 minutes, so you're rounding it down now from 12 to 10, if you were to do that, you would still get through the New Testament in five months. So basically, I would say there's no excuse for us as Christians not to read the New Testament and at least not to have gotten through it once as a start. Now, to get on to how I would recommend reading it in what order, etc., I would say if you want to read it from start to finish, in order, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, etc. Just pull trigger on it. If that's simple for you, just go ahead, start now even. But what I would probably recommend is starting with one of the Gospels, most probably Luke, and then going on to Acts. That way you get the full Gospel and early church narrative right from the start. From there you can get on to the epistles, so Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, etc. right up until the end of the Bible. So what I would recommend is doing that, and then after every five epistles or five other books, you can circle back to the other Gospels you haven't read yet. That way you will get a good mixture of the epistles, which contains mainly teaching, plus narrative. So you can mix it up for a bit of variety, and hopefully that will keep you interested in continuing.
Now my final tip is, if this sounds too difficult for you to do, just commit to at least reading one of the Gospels. That way you see Jesus' life from start to finish, what he did, all the main important stuff. And again, I would recommend Luke, but if you want something even more simple, you can start with Mark. But any of the four are a really good way or place to start. Now, yeah, that's all I have for today. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.